ਸੁਖ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਵੀ no ambition and yet live in this world go to the office factory being a shop steward or oh, that may not know you may not know that word in england the ambition of a guru junse can one live in this world without ambition without competition look what is happening in the outward world there is competition between various nations which is taking place please look at it from god say what is happening in the world the politicians are competing with each other economically technologically in the instruments of war they are competing and so destroying ourselves we allow this to go on because we are also inwardly competitive and we realize the politicians are never going to solve the thing but we if we are totally responsible for ourselves and have this deep integrity then will affect the consciousness of the world as we pointed out the few of us are really understand this whole movement of what we have been talking about for the last 60 years and few of us are really deeply involved and have brought about the end of fear sorrow and so on it will affect the whole of man consciousness of mankind we are doubtful whether it will affect the consciousness of mankind Hitlers have affected the consciousness of mankind right Napoleon the Caesars the butchers of the world have affected mankind and also the good people have affected mankind I mean good people not respectable people but the good being those who live a life holy not fragmented and the great teachers of the world have affected human consciousness individuals have affected human consciousness but if there were a group of people who were understood all this what we've been talking about not verbally but actually lived that life with great integrity then it will affect the whole of the whole consciousness of man this is not a theory this is an actual fact those great warriors have affected mankind 
right? If you understand that simple fact, you will see it goes right through television, newspapers, everything is affecting the consciousness of man. So, love cannot exist where there is a motive, where there is attachment, where there is ambition and competitiveness. And love is not desire and pleasure. Just feel that, see it. And also, what is the relationship between human beings when death occurs, when death takes place? Right? We're going to let's talk about it together. Because we are doing we are going to all this in order to bring about order in our life. Right? Order in our house, which has no order, where there is so much disorder in our life, and without establishing deep an order that is whole, integral, meditation is, has no meaning whatsoever. See the logic of it, right? Because if my house is not in order, I may sit in meditation, hoping through meditation I'll bring order. But what happens when I'm living in disorder and I meditate? I have fanciful dreams and illusions and all kinds of nonsensical results. But a sane man, intelligent, logical, must first establish order in daily life. Then we can go into the depth of meditation together. And the meaning of that meditation, the beauty of it, the greatness of the the width of it and so on. 